Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And we put this one up over on EE Arts, and this is fun, and this is interesting. And I think, you know, if we really want to break out of all the all the different blinders that they're putting on us, we got to look back to Tartaria, Atlantis, and understand our history is 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 really not what we're taught. And when you understand it from the perspective of of what we're, what we're giving you over here and then on the other one we did on uh, Patreon only talking um, about the whole ET thing uh, yeah it, it's it's so uh, it, it's really mind-blowing it's it's mind-blowing but on to uh, the, <laughs> the craziness of the end of an age here so we talked about the wildfire last night before going to bed and now it is closing in on a texas nuclear weapons facility near amarillo and it's been evacuated operations halted due to the wildfires in the panhandle region uh, governor greg abbott has issued a disaster declaration uh, the facility pantex responsible for assembling and disassembling the U.S. nuclear arsenal. Hello. <laughs> is 21 miles east of Amarillo and holds nearly 20,000 plutonium cores. It actively produces the B-61-12 bomb and the W-88 ALT-370 warhead. All employees have been accounted for and non-essential personnel are off-site. The plant's operations are on hold due to the uncontrolled nearby fire. Thought this was important. Well, thank you for sharing the informant. Yes, this is you know absolutely important. Let's just think about this again. The fire has now evacuated a Texas nuclear weapons facility that literally puts together the U.S. nuclear arsenal. Um, well, if you wanted to cause havoc, this would do it. And especially if you are very close to actual uh, direct confrontation between BRICS and NATO. Uh, yeah, I mean, this looks really, really bad. And um, anytime these fires show up that are so large and so uncontrollable, I mean, my mind just goes to, okay, what, what are they focused on? What is the plan here? What are they going to do? And this, then this showed up and it's like, oh gosh, this is really not good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, put out your prayers. You know, y your prayers make a difference. Your intention makes a difference. If you if you want to use the prayer word, if you want to use intention, uh, whatever words you want to use, your consciousness has power. And so there are beings that w can and will help you if you ask. So do put out those positive intentions and prayers for everybody in this area. And for us all, because, you know, we are getting very, very close to uh, go time. It's February 28th, 2024. Um, this was basically uh, forwarded by Greg Abbott, uh, retweeted, lock them up, lock up all these criminals, never let them out. A 19-year-old illegal from Honduras arrested in Kenner, Louisiana. That's a suburb of New Orleans. Following a violent crime spree, spree including something that's unmentionable and yeah you know again these uh, not all the migrants immigrants are bad of course not the majority are probably not most of them are just simply looking for uh, a better opportunity yet at the same time when we look to the crime stats in venezuela which supposedly emptied its entire prison system venezuelan crime is is dropping like a rock well, that's because they're all here. <laughs> this is where they sent them. Yeah, absolutely. And it, when they do go live and it feels like they're starting to go, whether it's just on their own accord because they're just the type of individuals that can't sit still and their natures are taking hold. Uh, or if they're being triggered randomly, we will see. Um, but again, when you look to what's going on and this wildfire, you got to say, you know, again, now, who or what started this? Was it just a random camper? Was it fire from the sky? Or was it one of the somewhere between maybe 10 and 20 million people in the country illegally 
Well, I w I'm looking forward to your comments. As you can see, the weather patterns have shifted. And so, you know, it, it is a danger now to Amarillo itself. Uh, Cindy and I have been through that area so many times. The other thing is uh, we lost, gosh, we lost so many of these reptilian beings lately. Um, and, you know, when I said this to Cindy, uh, Biden is heading to Walter Reed Hospital. You know, this is something that wasn't scheduled. Well, you know, first of all, which one is this one? This, this is the evil one. Yeah, this is the well, not that there, any of them are any good. But um, I don't think this is the senile one. This looks like the evil one. Somebody even made note that it seemed like he was moving very quickly and, and, and better than usual. Uh, so, yeah, this is probably the evil one. But we had, you know, Jacob Rothschild that left. We had that 45-year-old royal died suddenly. Um, we've had a lot of them uh, that suddenly have just uh, seem to are leaving the 3d realm or are they just simply going underground are they all going to gilligan's island well i don't mean gilligan's island but you know that island that starts with an e um pope francis taken to the hospital following his gen general audience at the vatican ah this, this is curious is it not well you know you have things breaking out you have absolutely a much stronger pushback than we've seen so far as there's a new move to recall Newsom. Yeah, recall Newsom, recall Trudeau, uh, recall Macron, send them all back to Mars where they really truly come from. They do. They do need to go back where they came from. And hopefully people will start waking up and doing more and more of this. But then at the same time, people are still there, still buying into the system and they're still supporting it by participating um you know i mean what would they do if just absolutely no one voted <laughs> they'd be like hey you know what's going on here they might have to actually set something up that was honest and fair and because we're starting to feel more and more and more into the truth of things when when you are awakened and your energy body is lit up you have this ability to really feel the truth and it becomes so very very strong and i think they're they're understanding that the truth is that the control system in place has been at war with humanity and humanity didn't understand it was at war with the control system now it's becoming pretty obvious this is perhaps a step in the right direction but it's still taking part in the system as you see biden lost Dearborn, Michigan, by 50 points uh, to, to, to uncommitted. 75% of the votes went to uncommitted, meaning we don't like Biden. We don't like any choices. Well, okay, don't accept the system. Just we, if we all decided to ignore the system, then we could get some serious change. Just totally ignore the system. Step out of the system. Look for alternatives. You know, make every single one of these politicians unemployed uh, transnistria turn to the russian federation for help due to the economic blockade by moldova uh, this declaration was adopted by the congress of deputies this could be something because again they're asking to be annexed by russia this is on the other side of ukraine um, yeah expansion in the war is coming this this is what this is their playbook so People are waking up. You can see the, the elites seem to be disappearing off, off the planet or going into hiding. You know you're very, very close because what they will do, we all know what they're going to do. They're, they're going to trigger that uh, WW3. That's the, the card that they have up their sleeve. They have other cards too, including something which is the reason why we posted that video on Ozone which I wish more people would have actually looked at a way that might save their lives, you know, because it can save your life, absolutely. Just discover alternatives that are healthy and natural because the system isn't looking out for your health. That's, that's the bottom line. And we are getting <clears throat> very close to when they will uh, uh, trigger this. We also see more and more uh, accidents of a v -v 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 kind, v -v -v or Perhaps, you know, this is a, a helicopter going down. Six people narrowly survived. 
when a tourist helicopter crashed and was left hanging precariously between a building and a telephone pole. This this type of thing is happening all the time now. We're seeing um, you know doors coming off and and different parts of airplanes coming off. At some point in time in the relatively near future, uh, all planes will be grounded in the U.S. It, that's coming. It, it's not very very far off. And then what we have seen is that globally people don't fly like they used to. But you know when we look to again things like. How do you get DNA from Australia and South America that show that they come from the same lineage? Well, because people used to travel in the air <laughs> using you know, aerial vehicles, which are clearly described in the Hindu texts all the time. Our, our technology was more advanced than it is now if you went back, say, 10, 12,000 years, you know, be, go back before the Younger Dryas period, we were way more uh, advanced, 13, 14, 15,000 years ago. Again, it's the revisionist history that they give us that deceives. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And, you know, I think it's with the information that's out now and the knowledge that we have access to now, it's absolutely crazy to think that we are somehow the pinnacle of modern man. <laughs> it's like our our medical system and all of our systems are so extremely barbaric in nature. Everything but symbiotic is what it is. But But if we just take time to play with our pets, play in the dirt, get ourselves grounded, have a little fun, and just enjoy life, things will get better. Absolutely, and go check out the video on Tartaria if you have questions like, why did they make 110 room houses with one bathroom? Well, we, we explained that, <laughs> as well as other things too. As always, guys, thank you for your support. Stay prepared in these times. Look forward to your comments. Make sure that you're like and subscribe to the channel and the videos to help us out with the wacky computer algorithms that suppress real knowledge source bless namaste namaste